Welcome to Mohan Classes. In this video, we are going to talk about polygons, types of quadrilaterals, and their properties. This is for 8th standard part 1 video. Let us talk. What is called a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed curve made up of line segments. So, here it is a polygon. It is a polygon. Okay. Three lines are closed curve. Similarly, it is a polygon. It is a polygon. It is a polygon. It is a closed curve of line segments. This is called polygon. So, what is a regular polygon? In regular polygon, the line length of the lines will be same. And the angles inside the interior angles will be same. That is called a regular polygon. Let us take an equilateral triangle. It is an equilateral triangle. What is equilateral triangle? In equilateral triangle, all the three sides are equal. It is not looking like an equilateral triangle. Yeah? Sorry. In equilateral triangle, how it will be like that? In equilateral triangle, all the three sides are equal and the angles are equal, right? So, here it will be like this, right? So this is somewhat better than the previous one. A, B, C, right? So, A, B is equal to B, C is equal to A, C and the angles, what is the angle of an equilateral triangle? 60 degree, right? All the six three angles are equal. So, this is called a regular polygon. Similarly, what happened to square? Square will have all the four sides are equal as well as what is the angle of a square? It is 90 degree, it is 90 degree, it is 90 degree, it is 90 degree. It is 90 degree. So, square is a regular polygon. Similarly, hexagon. Hexagon, how many sides you will have? Six sides, right? Hexagon. This is a hexagon, six sides will be there, right? So, this is also a regular polygon. Similarly, pentagon, eight sides will be there, pentagon. Then, what about to quadrilateral? Quadrilateral is nothing but it will have only four sides and four angles. This is called a quadrilateral. So, square is a quadrilateral, rectangle is a quadrilateral, trapezium is a quadrilateral. Now, the sum of the main uh, points of a external and internal angle of a polygon. So, let us take a hexagon. Okay. Let us draw a hexagon once again. Hexagon, all the six sides are equal, right? Come on, it is looking like a hexagon, yeah? Please. A, B, C, D, E, yeah. Okay, it is a hexagon. It is the internal angle. Internal angle of a hexagon, how much? Internal angle will be 120. This angle will be 120. What will be the external? Angle external angle, if you extend this, you will have a external angle. If you are extending this, it will have external angle. If you are extending here, it will have a here. For this is the external angle. Here, you will have here, it is the external angle. So, these are all called external angle of a polygon. So, sum of the external angles are equal to 360 degree. Whatever may be the polygon sides even if it have 24 sides the external total sum of the total exterior angle will be 360 degree then what about the interior i mean uh, interior angle interior angle sum of the interior angle is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree so n means number of sides here 6 right so 6 minus 2 4 4 into 
180 what you will get 720 so hexagon the interior angle is 120 so we are having six angles 6 into 120 720 clear so what about this external angle of a hexagon it is a 60 degree how we are getting 180 minus 180 minus 120 will get 60 if you add 60 here 160 here 160 here 166 are there now so the total 360 we are getting the sum of the external angle clear this these three points are very very important now let us move to the types of quadrilateral what are all the types of quadrilateral here we are having parallelogram is a quadrilateral and then rhombus is a quadrilateral rectangle is a quadrilateral and square let us talk about a parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram so this angle will be equal to this angle and then the diagonals bisects each other that means oa is equal to oc od is equal to ob bisects means it will bisects equally midpoint o is the midpoint of ac similarly o is the midpoint of bd clear these are all the properties of a parallelogram so what about rhombus it is called a rhombus rhombus same like parallelogram but it will have all the four sides are equal in a rhombus here all the four sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel this is called a rhombus all other properties same like parallelogram opposite angles are equal and then diagonals bisects each other okay and here in rhombus the diagonals intersect at 90 degree this is here it is not 90 degree but in rhombus it will be 90 degree okay so what about rectangle rectangle opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal length is equal similarly breadth is equal opposite sides are equal and diagonals will be equal so that means ac is equal to bd the diagonals will be equal and they will intersect also okay here now let us talk about square what is square square means it will have four equal sides right a b c d all the four sides are equal in a square as well as all the four angles are equal it is 90 degree it is 90 degree it is 90 degree and it is 90 degree the diagonals bisects each other okay so the square will have the same property like parallelogram rhombus and rectangle okay now let us move to the next kite what is called a kite so kite means a quadrilateral with two pair of two equal sides. See here A B C D. A B is equal to A D and B C is equal to C D. Okay. Here they will bisect each other and here the they are perpendicular the diagonals will be perpendicular to each other okay what about trapezium in trapezium one pair will be parallel so these two lines will be parallel not equal parallel okay so what about concave concave is measure of each angle is less than 180 degree so that means we can take a rectangle is a concave right so what about rectangle here what is the angle of rectangle is it less than 180 degree only because it is 90 degree here also 90 degree here also 90 degree here also 90 degree so it is a concave okay so what about convex convex is one of the angle will be more than 180 degree let us take like this a diagram 
Okay, here what is the angle? This angle is more than 180 degrees. So this is called a A B C D. Okay. So this diagram is called a convex. Okay. That is one angle should be more than 180 degree means if you are seeing like this, it is a convex polygon. Either this is concave polygon. Clear? That's it for the day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it to your friends, subscribe and give you a likes. Thank you.